Hi, I'm Claire Johnston and you're watching another Honest Review. Today we're going to look at the VAC7 Steam Cleaner. It's one of the lower cost products on the market and generally a good performer. I bought this several years ago when I really kind of bought into the hype around steam cleaners, which was probably at its peak back then. Um, at the time, a lot of people were talking about the hygienic benefits of using steam to clean and also the fact that you didn't then have to use um, a lot of chemical based products at the same time. Steam cleaning is generally thought to be very good, both because of the, the pressure and the heat at kind of agitating dirt and helping you lift it. It's only really actually, despite having this in the last several years, um, in the last few months that I've started to use it regularly and have really discovered what it can do and now I love using it. So looking at the VAC7 in particular though, there are some things that you might want to consider before purchasing it. So let's have a look at what it can do. So at the moment, the VAC7 is plugged into the longer handle and that's because we're gonna use it first to mop the floor. Before that, we need to switch it on. So it's just this little button at the front, give it a click, it takes 20 seconds to heat up and is ready to steam. At the back, you've got this little container here, which just clicks to detach. You fill that up with water. There's a jug that comes with it if you wanna use that to refill, but in actual fact, once you've filled this up, I usually fill it from the tap, you've got 15 minutes of continuous steam. So by the time you've uh, mopped your kitchen floor or cleaned the toilet, whatever you're using the vax for, usually you've got enough water in that to do the job. I'm gonna show you the mop head now. Uh, there's a little cloth that fits onto the end for um, steaming the kitchen floor, but if you wanted to use this to shift some of the dirt on your carpet, it won't clean your carpet, but there are bristles under here that you can use with the steam over the carpet to just shift some of the dirt, it agitates the dirt on the floor so you've, somebody's trampled in gum or you've got fluff or something that's difficult to hoover out. Use this first and it'll help you to lift the dirt off the floor. First, let's take a look at it as a mop. I just press the base down onto the cloth and that's enough to hold it in place and start cleaning. A little bit of pressure with your foot releases the handle you squeeze a lever at the top to release the steam and just glide the vax over the floor. It does a swift and even job and the floor dries really quickly too. This uh, device is also handheld, so you just unplug the long handle that I used on the floor there and um, there are a number of little plugins that come with it, which all have their different uses. Brushes like this you'd be using between tiles. Now, already you can start to see the issue here. Um, this brush has only been used once or twice and already the head is really kind of messed up so you know that's not going to last a long time. Um, the other brushes are this one's very good for uh, getting in between bathroom tiles with the, the slimmer grouting areas. Uh, this one which I've never used because it looks a little bit scary and hard is for cleaning metals um, and you've also got a window cleaner as well there. This little one here, I think that's more of a tool for if you were actually doing DIY, lifting plaster and so on. Again, never tried this one. I'm going to show you how to swap the base um, to put in one of these plugins. And it's actually, this is one of the trickier bits because I'm going to try and release this button here. Um, and this is, I'm sure there's some kind of knack to it, but I don't have it. So stiff button. You've got to push this in to release the head and as you can see I'm not finding it easy. Okay so that was the trickier bit and I've got a red thumb from trying to release that little button there. However done it now and it gets easier from here on in. So this little attachment now just clips in and from there whichever one of these little heads you want to put on again that's just a case of just clicking it in. One of the best uses I've found for the VAC7 is cleaning the grout on floor tiles. It's been a bit of a revelation to me so I'm going to show you now how I use this little brush here to do that on my kitchen floor tiles which haven't been cleaned or the grout hasn't been cleaned in seven years so it's absolutely manky. Here we go. And all I'm doing is brushing. 
There's no chemical, no products on this. It's the steam that's doing the hard work. Okay, I'm going to use this kitchen towel now to show you how much dirt has come off of this grout. You can see how much liquid the steam has produced just in the few seconds that we did that for. Look at the dirt. So let's have a look at the VAC7 in action in some other areas in the house. So lots of different ways to use the VAX, but the most impressive for me is the results on the floor grout. Let's have a look at what's happened since I cleaned it a couple of minutes ago. Okay, so this is the untreated area of grout along here, still absolutely filthy. But then as we move towards the area that I treated here, and here you can just see the difference. I don't know how much scrubbing that would have taken me with cleaning fluids to get it into that, but that has almost brought it back to being as good as new. So putting some of these design issues aside, the VAC7 really is a great little multi-purpose steam cleaner, fantastic for shifting hard ground in dirt. At £50, it's one of the lowest priced on the market. It's also one of the highest rated on Amazon. You can spend up to £200 on a steam cleaner, but would these benefits really add up to something real or is it all just hot air? You've been watching another Honest Review. Don't forget to click and subscribe.